Welcome to a new video on my home automation series. This video I'm going to talk a little bit about the Tuya Smart application and how this application looks like and you know what are the general features that you can get in this application. I think this video is going to be interesting for users who are trying to move into the smart home business and they are not really sure what uh, ecosystem they want to choose and um, so they want to just really understand how you know one system you know feels like and looks like. Um, if you happen to be completely new to this whole smart home ecosystem then obviously you should know that there are so many different hardware and software manufacturers around so you pretty much need to um, you know decide up front which one you are going to go for uh, otherwise you will end up uh, in a situation where you would have you know multiple application each controlling a few or one of your devices which you may still you know end up uh, well having but at least if you can pick an application we can support most of your devices then uh, probably your life is going to get a little bit easier. What I have here are a few devices which I have featured on my channel previously so I have a couple of Zemi Smart products uh, there is this RGB Dunlight, there is a two gang switch and there is also this wireless RF switch so the two gang switch is controlling these two lights and this RF switch is controlling this one. And I also have a wireless, uh, sorry, a Wi-Fi thermostat from Becca, uh, which you can see here. So with this, I have a couple of devices and hopefully I would be able to use these to demonstrate some of the uh, features that you get in the application. And also there are some uh, common uh, requests and, and common features in this smart home apps, which I'm going to cover separately in, in a follow-up videos because, uh, well, I'm not really sure at this point, but this uh, video may um, end up being a little bit too long. I'm going to use my Android phone to show this, uh, these features. And if I go into the Play Store and I search for Tuya Smart, that's the application I'm talking about. So the, you can see how the, uh, the icon looks like on the screen. And if I scroll a little bit further, you can see it got four star reviews and about 100K plus downloads. What you need to know about the, the Tuya Smart is the Tuya Smart is an ecosystem where there is a company who is providing all the cloud functionality and that cloud functionality is used by different uh, hardware manufacturers. So um, if I want to draw conclusions, so like in, in EV-Link application and Sonoff, there is a company called IT who manufactures and designs all these uh, Sonoff products and they have their own ecosystem. So that which is the EV-Link application. And the EV-Link only works with Sonoff products. And well, there are a couple of exceptions, but that's the main thing. But with Tuya, you have uh, probably, I don't know, hundreds and thousands of different suppliers who all you know, use the Tuya app. So they, they pay some license fee and um, they use the hardware which you know, talks to the Tuya servers and, and they establish the cloud functionality. So, the upside is that uh, you get a lot more products in the Tuya system uh, and a lot more variety. I mean, not only like switches and lights, but I've seen if I try to add a new device, for example, here, you can see all the different things that you can, you know, support in the Tuya app. So I'm just assuming, of course, I haven't gone through all of these, but um, all of the options that are mentioned here means that one of these, uh, so there is a manufacturer for any of these devices and if you have seen Sonoff uh, you know their list is obviously much smaller. Probably the downside is that because you have different manufacturers uh, the sort of that the layout the look and feel can differ from one manufacturer to another so it's not a such a seamless uh, um, user experience that's that's what I would say. I wouldn't go through the, the really basics of the application. Of course, you have to create an account. So once you download the app, uh, it will ask for a either a phone number or an email address, and you have to go through the registration process. You would either receive a confirmation email or a confirmation text message with the code that you have to enter. But once you have done that, you are in the application. And the first thing that the app is going to ask you is to define a, a home. So the idea is that, um, I mean, as you can see, I have a home. So the idea is that you can uh, um, manage multiple locations. So if you have, let's say, a home and a holiday home or a rental, you can just separate them out in the Tuya Smart application. So the, the devices that you will see are uh, basically linked to a home. I only have one. And um, 
when you define your home and you provide an address so it all also provides you with the you know weather forecast so within the home you can define different rooms i have a couple of rooms defined but they are the standard rooms and because i only have four devices i've i've put all i haven't assigned any of the devices to rooms so they just uh, uh, appear under all devices of course if you have a lot then it makes sense to put them into different rooms so it's easier to find what you are looking for so as i said there are four devices on the board at the moment and these are the four devices that you can see here and also if you don't mind i wouldn't go through a pairing process because that's very typical to any of these applications so if you have if you have purchased any of the um the two are supported devices you press on the plus sign you select the device that you want to pair for example a switch and the the screen is going to take you through the process so uh, you just have to get the, the unit to a pairing mode which differs for every, every single unit so you just have to consult the manual uh, for the product but uh, basically you for this particular device it would be a blinking light and you confirm in the next step it's going to ask for your wi-fi uh, name and the password and after that you just have to wait and um, the device will automatically get registered obviously you need to have your phone close to the device that you are trying to pair to and of course the device has to be within the range of the on of your wi-fi router and once that is done so the pairing is complete the app is going to ask you to provide a name for the device and potentially assign it to a room which is not mandatory and after that you should be able to use the device before i go into more details i just want to mention that uh, it appears well based on the products that i have at the moment is uh, the tuya app so the tuya smart and the smart life app is managed by the same company or uh, there's some sort of connection between the two because all of the devices that i own at the moment um, the documentation says that they work with a smart life app but I know that whenever they mention the Smart Life, it also works with the two apps. So it seems to be a like two apps for the same cloud service. And I just like the two a little bit more because I think it has a nicer user interface. But again, your mileage may differ. So most of the things, most of these devices would also work in the two in the Smart Life app. And interestingly, the uh, most of the the documentation within the box, so the small leaflets, they. Uh, talk about smart life but um, again I just prefer to hear more. We did that much introduction I think probably we can go into the, uh, the devices. The layout is pretty similar to um, these smart home applications so you see the devices each device uh, is displayed as a row and then once you click on the device so for example this test switch then the details screen loads and then uh, from here you can control the device and as I said, because these are vendor specific, it turns out that the screens, these screens are also vendor specific. So I have, uh, that's the device that I selected, this two gang switch. And, and as you can see, um, there is a, well, the two switch faces. Just ignore the fact that both of them comes on. Um, that's one of the features that I set up for another video. Um, and that's how you operate the device. And of course you have some other functions here, timers and, uh, and then you know all on all close and again those will differ for each device so um so that's how the this uh, two gang switch looks like but if i go to this other switch which is the single one uh, now you can see that that user interface is going to be different sometimes you see these loading screens maybe they are um, related to updates but in most cases these screens look uh, load in in a couple of seconds so i can operate this switch like that of course, I only have one uh, uh, switch face and it doesn't look like a switch. So as I said, the functionality in each of them is going to be different. And then probably if you would order a different, you know, two gang switch for a different manufacturer, that may also look different. So uh, you might want to just stick with one brand if you, if you want a more consistent look on the UI. And of course, the functionality differs as well. So here, for example, you can see that I have a separate button for switch, which is this lower left button, but then I have time left and schedule. So I can set up a function with say, for example, I want to switch this off now after five minutes. So I don't, if I even, if I close the phone, then of course it will happen. And I have schedule. So I didn't have, I had the timer, which is same as the schedule on the other one, but not here. So, um, and 
Of course, these are not very well documented on the website um, for most of these devices, or at least the ones that I have seen. So it's a little bit of um, yeah, trial and error that you buy a product, you see if, if you are looking for a, one specific functionality, whether that product supports it or not. Uh, this LED seems to flicker a little bit, so it could be a, an issue with the LED. So that's how the, uh, this lamp looks like, so I'm just going to turn it off. And uh, for example, this uh, floodlight or mood light that I call it, um, also has a function, so I can uh, switch it on here. So as you can see, this particular uh, device has a separate uh, on-off button here on the main screen, so I don't have to go into the, let's say, into the, into the detail screen to turn it on and off. And also it has a few more other functions here. Again, as you can see, um, the look and feel and the features will differ from one product to another. And of course for a the thermostat we are getting yet another different user interface because well, of course you are controlling temperature here so you can you know, change the set temperature, you can change between different program modes and, and manual modes here. So I guess you get the idea about the, the, the whole thing. Of course I could assign these devices to rooms so in all devices I will see all of them, but when I move to the individual rooms then I, I would only see the devices uh, related to that room. And that's pretty much the device screen which you see when you select the home button here on the, on the button. And uh, you have two more buttons here uh, at the bottom of the screen, one is smart and the other, uh, other one is me. So if you go to smart that's where you can set up all the different automation scenarios and that's probably going to be quite uh, important uh, because well, at first you probably just want to use these, you know, light switches and then turn them on using your phone. But then uh, after some time you want to move on to some automation scenarios and that's what you can do here. And on this screen again you have two different tabs on the top. You have a scenario and then you have an automation. So, um, and the distinction between the two is uh, scenario is something that you trigger. Like as you can see I have two scenarios here and I have an execute button. So if I go back here and if I turn on this light and I also turn, well let me turn on all the lights and then I move back to smart and I do all of execute then I execute this scenario which I have set up to turn off all my devices. So it has a name, well it has a, a picture as well and then in the action you can specify that one, when you click on that what are the different uh, scenarios or the actions that it should uh, execute. So basically I've just listed uh, using this plus button to switch off all my lights. And you can also um, set it so it appears on your home page. If you do that then it shows up up here between the, uh, less, uh, well just above the rooms uh, under the weather forecast. And of course you can do uh, a few different stuff in here. So for example I have this other scenario which I called leaving home. What it does, it first it um, creates a timer. It, well they call it time lapse but basically this is a timer. So it waits for five, five minutes and after that it's going to switch, on, switch off these two lights. So, so this would be an ideal scenario if you have a couple of smart porch lights um, or the entryway light and when you leave home you don't want to switch them off because you need to find a keyhole and etc. So you execute this uh, scenario and then so these two lights will stay on and then after five minutes they will automatically turn off. And when you create a new scenario you click on the plus button so you specify your name and you can change the, this um, background image. So if you have a loads then you can probably uh, identify them easier by the image than the, uh, than the text. And then in the actions you just click on plus and you decide what um, action you want to specify here for this uh, scene. So the first thing is you can uh, enable or disable automations and these are the automations that we are going to look next. Or you can set up a time lapse so that's a basically a pause or a delay within the action. And of course you do have the devices and you can do something with those uh, devices. So for example uh, I, in the previous example I selected the test switch 
and it has two outputs so it has a left and a right output so and you can specify whether you want to turn them off or on when you click on this um, scenario and of course the number of functions that you can access here is going to vary uh, a lot so for example for the thermostat you can change the different modes so whether it should be program or auto mode or on the mood light you can also turn them on and off and recently these two Chinese options appeared as well so probably they haven't done the translation yet but uh, you would be able to set uh, some colors so if you have a, I don't know, a lot of mood lights then you can set up a scene where say I want these two to be red and the other two purple and the rest like yellow or something so you can all do this in uh, scenarios so that's basically a uh, an option to set multiple devices at once easily and the next one is automation and the automation is a feature which is not triggered manually but this is something that should happen when a state of another device changes so if I set up a new automation again as you can see it has two tabs so again you have a name and then a picture but you have two tabs one is if a condition is met and then you specify the condition then take an action so for example in the conditions I have a couple of more options like temperature humidity weather sunrise sunset and that's uh, based on the uh, online forecast so obviously I don't have any humidity or temperature meter outside so you wouldn't know whether the um, the current temperature in my city is uh, or if the weather is cloudy hazy or snowy but based on the online weather forecast you can do that and you can also set um, you can create an automation based on not a precise time in the day but uh, like sunrise and sunset this is for example a function that I would use for garden lights so let's say on sunset turn on and let's say at 11 p.m. turn automatically off you can also have a schedule so again this automation is uh, executed at a specific time of the day and you can also specify which day of the week it should happen if you don't want them to every single day of the week and of course the last one is the device so for example if the this desk lamp is turned on then in the action I can again uh, execute a scenario so this is a scenario that we have seen before uh, enable notification uh, sorry enable disable automation I haven't really figured out what this I would use most send notification you can send a notification uh, I don't know maybe if you have a like a door sensor uh, or a doorbell then you can uh, if that doorbell wouldn't send a notification your phone you can just set up an automation that whenever somebody presses the doorbell you will get a separate notification you can also do the time lapse so that's again a delay that we have seen before and of course you can control a device uh, so I've created a very simple scenario where I said like first I want to do a time lapse a four minute and then I want my device to turn off so that would be a very quick and easy um, scenario where if I turn on my light it will automatically turn, on, turn off after four minutes and above all this within the automation you have another option here which is the effective period which is quite nice it's uh, it's missing in some of the other um, apps or these cloud services and I got a few comments on for example the EV link where they have a scenario that which they only want to run overnight and they can't do that because uh, you can't combine um, you know multiple conditions in that app together but here what you can uh, specify is you have this effective period so you can say that this uh, automation should work you know 24 hours a day every day of the week or it should only work daytime nighttime a custom defined period and on top of that you can even specify them on the date so you can really go detail on this one I mean I can't really <laughs> think about a scenario which um, where you will specify well actually uh, this could be nice because it, uh, let's say you have a routine uh, which you don't want to run on the weekend so you just unchecked uh, Saturday and Sunday so here you go and of course you you specify the current city for the day and daytime and the nighttime calculation so that's uh, 
This effect effective period is, I think, it's a nice feature. And here in the conditions, uh, as you can see, I just ha have one condition which says the lamp is switched on, but I can put another condition as well. And I can even specify that if I want this automation to run, if any of the conditions are met or if all of the conditions are met. So you can do, you know, quite detailed setup in here. So I think that's, um, oh, okay, no, I don't want to send it. So I think that's uh, it's fairly powerful. I have created a few which I'm going to feature in uh, upcoming videos. And the last option is me, where you can make some changes to your settings. Probably the most important thing and what people are going to use the most is the family management, where you would be able to add additional users to who also have a Tui app downloaded and they have also created an account. So you can add them as family members. So that's how you would share access to the devices. So let's say you have the main account, you manage these devices, you set up the automations, you pair them to the, your account, and then you can share the access to these devices uh, via your family members. And if you go to any of the devices and you click on the edit button on the top left, sorry, top right, then you have a couple of options here. So you can always rename your device. You can set the device location later on. So if you are moving them between rooms or homes, you can do it now, do it here. Uh, you can also um, set the device sharing here. Of course, uh, first you need to go to your family settings first, which I haven't done so. And also you can create groups that could be important. Uh, for example, let's say you have these type of down lights. Uh, that are mounted in the ceiling and uh, yeah, in most cases you would have multiple of these and you don't want to uh, control them individually so you will set up a group so you can control you know multiple at the same time and of course also you have a firmware check so you can check whether uh, any of these devices require firmware update which would happen automatically so you don't have to worry about them and as you can see um, most of these devices they have a third party control which um, uh, I mean, of course, you can check on these uh, from time to time because they are always expanding their, you know, services and integration. Uh, and you will see that most devices uh, support Alexa and Google Home. So you can set up voice control. And I can even do it for this one now. So if we just test it out. Okay, Google, turn on the desk lamp. Sure, turning on the desk lamp. So as you can see, the Google integration worked. And just a quick thing, just to um, quickly mention how you will go about setting this up. So you go to your Google Home app. Um, of course, I don't have an Alexa, but uh, I'm assuming that it would work uh, pretty much the similar way. Uh, you go to your home, Google Home app, you click on Add, and then you say Set up a new device. And then uh, uh, select the second one, works with Google. And then Google will show you all the different um, uh, services or third-party services that you can integrate to. As you can see, uh, I have two services already added. So this Tuya Smart is the one that we need. When you click on it, it will just ask for the user ID and the password that you have created in your Tuya Smart account. Uh, or that's what the user ID and the password of your to your smart account and the two will be linked together and once you have done that all your devices within your two app will automatically appear on your Google Home and then you can start controlling them I just have a lot more here so but if I scroll down for example you can hear you can see here the desk lamp and if I click off here then my lamp, lamp turns off and for example that's uh, that's my other lights here so that's about the integration. This is probably not all the features about the Tuya Smart app, um, and there could be even more that they are adding uh, since I released the video. But I think these are the most important ones and the ones that are get used the most. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching, and hopefully see you in the next video.